Hey, Iskel, I've brought a prospective tenant. Bye. What? Hello? What is, <laughs> what is this? You have a man following you, Cleo. Would you like... No, no, it's following you now. It's fine. It's Bye. not. Would you like me to rescue you? <laughs> no, it's cool. I, I, I got you. Don't worry. He's dead. <laughs> Don't you worry. I save you. Yay! <laughs> I log in and there's just chaos in the neighborhood as always. <laughs> oh, hello there, Ren. Oh, hello. It's taking it down, Ren. Look. This might be the best day of my life. I, I think I think, I think, think both our lives. I'm glad to be here with you in this moment, Ren. Well, it, Never fall closer to you, Clea, than in this moment. Oh, this is so wonderful, Ren. I'm weeping. Um. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Wait a minute. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Wait, sorry. Sorry. Uh, I mean, be violence. <laughs> Although there is the scary baby face that's coming over on the neighborhood just over there. Wait, what? Oh, wow. That's <laughs> that's new. <laughs> that's new. Scary baby face. I don't know what it's going to be, but I hope it's not scary baby face forever. <laughs> I like awesome. it. That looks amazing. I like scary. Scary baby face doesn't bother me as nearly as much as this did. Yeah, agreed. Well, I got interrupted, so I'm guess it's. I guess it's. I guess it's done now. Yeah, I know, but there's like a whole party just coming over now. <laughs> oh, they Oh, look. Oh, Cleo. They ambushed me in my house and I ran. <laughs> they ambushed you in your house and you decided, let's run to Iskal. Because yes. he Get is Iskal. He is the hero. Ren, don't He's you kill the, the we'll take the lead journey. in this battle. Don't you kill the flag bearer now, Ren. Hup. Don't kill the flag Get bearer. It, Ren. Kill the flag Hup. bearer. Nice Ren. Look at you. <laughs> I will I will okay. I'll deal with the flag bearer, don't you worry. There we go. Burn. Do you filth? No. <laughs> Burn filth. As the Minister of Hell, I think that, that was a pretty a job well done. That well was done. Excellent. I'm glad that was I came over here. Dispatching. Yes. <laughs> yes. Nice. Well well, uh, as you were. Cleo, if you ever need help again with fighting off these uh, stinking villagers, I, I will and bring. I'm... I will make sure that your base is filled with them at some point. I'm sure. Yes, good. Sounds good. <laughs> I, I shall take care of them. <laughs> take care. I'm going to ask stress about the baby face. Yeah, so well, um, I'll see you later, guys. Okay. Bye. Bye. Okay. Good. You still look like I a McDonald's just, uh, man. I'll just stand here. <laughs> How's the, how's the viewer? <laughs> it's great, great, great little spot here. A little breeze coming through the valley. Lovely. Yeah, this is uh, this is where I usually stand and fart. Yeah. Slight pungent smell of dump <laughs> wafting over here. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Great. It's, uh, no, it's a great, it's a great place. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, yes. it's what, it is what it is. Some crazy weather we're having these days, eh? Yeah, yeah. The weather has been uh, yeah. oof, rough lately. Yeah, rough, rough. Oof, oof, oof. Yeah. And uh, and I've been having this pain in my uh, left finger, you know, it's kind of weird. Oh I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> that sounds uh, yeah. painful. And uh, yeah. and uh, Ren, I'm really bad at small talk. <laughs> Could you give me some advice? Could you? Like it's so I I'm so this uncomfortable is... with small talk. <laughs> This is what brings me wonderful joy watching Look, you squirm in small talk. It's okay, let let me try. Let me try. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, look look over there at that tree. Um, I mean, it looks like a it looks like a, a member of the Vesiferous family. Quite a wonderful, yes, wonderful bit of flora, if you ask me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was, was blossoms that... in the in the spring. Blo yes, in the spring it blossoms. Uh, oh, yeah. how has it blossoms slight, in the spring! Uh, has a slight odor of tea about it when the sun is up in the in the noon, bringing out the yes. Smell. Uh, that's exactly what I was mm. going to say. And uh, and yeah. and tea is uh, we like uh, do, tea is drinkable. Yeah, you know whatever happened to the postal service? You know what happened to, to the come postal at nine service? in the morning? Yeah, now it's two in the afternoon. Yes. And they delivered country. milk uh, as well. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and yeah, yeah. Oh, and whatever happened to the mailman? 
Yep. He yeah. used to be able to have a chat. Had a, have now a chat. Leave the parcel on the doorstep and run as fast as possible away. Yeah. This country. And mowing the lawn and and yeah. or, and uh, and planting seeds. And now there are no more lawns to be mowed. There are no more lawns. Do you remember when an apple used to cost forty p? Oh, when an country. apple costed 40 of the P letter, yes. I don't know what to say anymore, man. I remember going into the shop and <clears throat> being like, I want an apple. I have 40 of the P's. And then I would trade my P's for the apple. <laughs> and and that was a good thing. And now what do they say? Now they go, I don't want your P's. They are frozen. Because I store my P's yeah. frozen in the freezer. Because... Yeah. I don't eat peas very often, but they are I good. Mean, you know, they're, they're pretty good for digestion also, you know, just get, get everything uh, moving nicely, keep you regular. <laughs> good, good vegetable. Yes. One of the better <laughs> veg. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and broccoli yeah. also is good. Broccoli also good for the digestion. Yes. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm a vegetable man. What can yeah. I say? What, what's your favorite vegetable? Oh, I'm I'm partial I'm partial to the odd sprig of broccoli, personally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Brussels sprouts. I've, I've, I have actually had a recent uh, resurgence of love for the sprout. <laughs> you really are getting old. <laughs> <laughs> just lightly cooked, you know. You, oh, you put it no. in a pan and you, oh, you no. just put a little bit of water on the bottom of the pan, a bit of salt in the water. <laughs> Boil them good. until they they become that bright green, that lovely green, but still have a crunch to them. Mm. <laughs> good stuff. Do you, good well, stuff. do you like cabbage as well? Yeah. You know, um, I am a big fan of cabbage. Yep, <laughs> big fan of cabbage. But a cabbage, you you dice it up nice and uh, and, and fine, and you stir fry it in some uh, soy sauce, bit of oil, mm. bit of garlic. Now we're talking. Yeah. Oh dear! Also good for the digestion. Also good for the digestion. I my first yeah. apartment that I lived in, my neighbor was a, a woman that was a hundred and five years old. What? And wow. every day when I came home from uh, from my work, my job, uh, she would stop me and be like, "Isgal, would you like some cabbage soup?" And the entire st staircase house. <laughs> Like the, the the joint thing of the apartments, the staircase uh -huh. house, would stink of cabbage every single day. It's weird because it it doesn't smell good when you're cooking it, but if you cook it well, it's it has like it's quite sweet and actually quite delicious, but it smells horrible. Weird, weird veg. I think it tastes like um, it smells. Mm. To be honest, speaking with of you. old neighbors, yes. I once had a, an old neighbor who uh, she was an author, but an author like back in the fifties. Well, like a writer. Something like this. Yes. Okay. And um, after a, about six months or so, she brought me one of her novellas. Novella, no, in no. case you don't know, it's like a, a little novel, a mini novel. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. And she was like, oh, you know, I, I used to be a writer. I thought you might enjoy this. Um, <laughs> and she gave, gave me the book. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, it was just fairly, it was a good read. Uh, quite <laughs> raunchy, though. <laughs> raunchy raunchy yeah. I mean what does raunchy mean well if I can recall the story correctly it was a tale of a young man and woman who stole a yacht and okay. uh, gallivanted down the Mississippi or something right and it's to say there were quite long evenings on the yacht that needed to she needed to fill pages with something so ah <laughs> yeah <laughs> Okay. It was a joy handing the book back to her. You know, she was like, so "What did you think?" I was like, "Oh, ex yo, great. <laughs> it was great. great. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, <laughs> great. Wait, wait. I I don't know about you. I I don't usually talk to my neighbors very much. In in fact, I find neighbors quite annoying. You know, they wake me up <laughs> in the morning because for whatever reason, where I live now, my neighbors love mowing the grass in the summer and in the winter they love plowing snow at the worst of hours. And mm -hmm. I actually, that made me interact with my neighbor once. I went down to my neighbor and I said, uh, you mow, mow your grass a lot because it's like daily. And, uh, and he said, yeah, it's like therapy. I love it. And they do it at the worst of times. Mm -hmm. I swear, I had a barbecue once. I had some people over, you know, we were having a good time. 
and we go outside we, we, we go outside we light the barbecue and then we went inside waiting for the barbecue to like do its thing and then we came out 30 minutes later and started cooking on the barbecue and at that time it was as if my neighbor looked from his house which is downhill from mine but very close and he was like aha and the lawnmower came out for two hours and i couldn't hear a thing my friend said hmm. sounds to me like he might be trying to uh hide from the wife if i may be so bold as to uh suggest well to be fair Maybe they're hiding from each other because she also most the they do it like every other time. They share the task. Oh, this is getting juicy. And they call it therapy, both of them. Because th yeah. what I left out was that when I when I commented that they mow the lawn a lot, they were both they were both there and they both answered as if it was rehearsed in a choir. It's therapy. Interesting. I mean, you know, a therapist will tell you to squeeze a ball or, like, you know, sing a song or something. Maybe they told them to mow the lawn when they get sick of each other. It sounds like that's what's happening. <laughs> that's, oh, that's speaking so of sad, barbecues, though. by the way. Yeah. Um, Brie. That does remind me of the greatest sausage that I've ever shoved in my mouth. Go on. It was in Sweden with you. Oh, yeah. We okay. Were, mm. Cheese we and bacon. In a little, little lake villa. Yes. Cheese and bacon, if I don't remember. It's called like Rain. I was telling Eskel about like South African sausage, you know, Burrowvors and whatnot. He's like, dude, hold my drink. Hold my drink. I'm, I'm going to get you a sausage. I'm going to show you what a sausage is, is all about. Yes. We went to the supermarket, got these sausages. Let me tell you, the juiciest, plumpiest sausage I've ever seen, filled yeah. with bits of bacon and cheese. Yep, yeah, there it is. On yeah. the barbecue, you could see the cheese starting to ooze. True, and yeah. And when, uh, when you bit into that sausage, there was that snap. Mm. Mm. Yeah, the snap. No, we do know our sausages. Come out of it. Yes. Oh, oh they're so good. Dude. Oh, those sausages were. Whew. Oof, they're I next still level. Think about those sausages from time to time. Well, I don't blame you because I have been to England and uh, they don't have the best of sausages. <laughs> so. <laughs> actually, that reminds me. The first time I went to the UK, I say the UK because it was actually in Scotland. Me and my mate we were driving, uh, and. Uh, we were so hungry and we stopped at one of these diners, you know, you know, a normal diner, right? And yeah. we go inside yeah. and they had, I think they call it bangers and mash. And we bangers were like, yep. oh, thank goodness. Some potato mash and, and, and two hot dogs or sausage. This will be great. What arrived on the plate was mash indeed. And then two brown poop looking things <laughs> and and we thought i don't know what this is but we gotta try it it was a terrible experience there was no snap oh, no it was it tasted nothing like what i've envisioned a sausage tasting like no, no. and uh yeah no it was bad swedish sausages are the only sausages that snap with a oh they're good they are good mm. Mm. well Ren. This has anyway. been uh, this has been good. It's a good time. Yeah, you know, and the server seeing the yep. neighborhood growing up, and I've been I've been seeing that tree in the background. Someone is chopping down a spruce tree, and it's like created this spiral as we've been talking. <laughs> <laughs> it's looks, just a work of art. It's beautiful. Yeah, it looks like a it's rocket. Just Cleo doing a thing. <laughs> Speaking I mean, about, is there no more efficient way to chop down a tree in 2024? I guess that's the best way. Still the best way. Well, I, 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 I have a slightly different method involving, yeah, involving planting the tree and then to yeah. get, I get on top on it like this. Oh, that's, that's really smart. Plus, you have a trident. I'm jealous. Where did you get that from? I, was, I killed many drums. Would you like me to get you a trident? Um, that would bring me great joy. Okay, yes. I shall add it to my list of Iskalman services. I think the last time I flung a trident was in, in season six, the season of the trident. Oh, it's great, man. You have to get yourself a trident. I will get you a trident. This will be Did my promise. make like a trident transport system in the neighborhood where you can just trident from puddle to puddle. Yeah, I've started it. Everyone makes roads. I have this. Look. Oh, ow. So sorry. Wait, try go as far as you can this way. No, I have a, I have a pot. Look here. I have a, I have a little station here. And oh, then got another one there. Okay. And then from here, I used to go oh, up on the on the thing, but it's gone now. So now <laughs> we're gonna need we're gonna nice. need a pond right here, man. 
right in your land. <laughs> we need a pond right there. Yeah. Yep. It'll be a sulfur pond, unfortunately. Yeah. I'll be fine. Wait, can you land on honey without taking damage? Oh, I don't know. Yep. Uh, wait, do we have water? Yeah, we have water. Hold on. I'll try it out. For science. This is for science, yes. Here this we go. For science. For science! Yep. This is going to hurt, Ren. Ah, oh, you take oh. damage. You take damage. It made such a cool noise, though. It, just it went... did. It made a very nice <laughs> splash sound. Honey blocks is one of the best blocks in the game. It is amazing. Yep. I get lost in its eyes when I stare into it. Eyes. Oh. <laughs> oh. I've never seen anything so beautiful. It's, it's great. <laughs> Would like... you like to spend our life together, honey block? I'll this... make magic with you. And this is when I leave. See you later, Red. <laughs> <laughs>